So my next question is, what is institutional racism? Okay. <laughs> so institutional racism is, is, a, is a reference to the fact that, like I said before, racism has become an integral part of how our society functions and how our society operates, right? So when we speak of institutionalized racism, we're talking about the different ways in which those, those racial hierarchies and those racial, uh, 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 the impact of racism has been sort of hardened, has become crystallized, has become sort of like um, uh, uh, set in stone in our institutions. Say for example, our legal institutions have uh, across the West uh, who is more, are more likely to penalize, uh, well, to prosecute uh, people of color, uh, to penalize them, and also more likely to give them harsher sentences than their white counterparts, right? So, for example, in our economic institutions, banks are more likely to give a white person a loan and not give a black person or a person of color a loan for doing their business. Um, in real estate, uh, like neighborhoods were more likely to be valued as more expensive because white people live there and, le and less non-white people live there and so on. So this is institutionalized racism is about the different ways in which our system has become hardened, has, has integrated racist outcomes. So we don't necessarily, um, we don't necessarily see it anymore. We don't necessarily do anything anymore specifically that is racist. There is nowhere like like there's no law that says specifically that as a person of color you're not gonna get into Dutch universities. But the institutionalized racism creates an outcome where you have less people of color in our Dutch universities because it's no longer something, it's become so integrated, we don't really have to make an effort anymore to really create racist outcomes. So again, institutional racism means that our institutions, um, you know, that, that govern our lives, that are part of our society, have integrated racism in a way that they reproduce racist outcomes without necessarily a very intentional um, a very declared uh, strategy to do so. That's fine, I don't know. As in, if you, if you live, if we do nothing about our institutions, if we do nothing at all, we just run them the way they are supposed to run, they will result in racist outcomes without us intending to. Do you see what I mean? That's what we mean with institutionalized racism. Hey, I love these Olave Explains. Hashtag Olave Explains. But <laughs> I need your help. I need to know what it is you would like me to explain to you. So please get on our Instagram, Olave Talks, our Facebook page, Olave Talks, and our Twitter, Olave Talks, or in the comments below, and let us know what you would like us to explain to you. What would you like us? To explain, we have, we obviously do not claim or guarantee that we will get it right though. We don't know. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um. <laughs> We're awake. We're awake. We're awake today. <laughs> uh.